something is wrong with the Dragon Ball fanbase, more specifically the Dragon Ball Super portion of oh, no, these Dragon Ball Super fanboys again. I don't understand what exactly is wrong with them. Obviously, uh, there are fanboys that are worse, but as a whole, Dragon Ball Super fanboys are more common, more active, and probably the most cringy types of people I have ever seen. So, what happened recently? So we got this uh, interview of Toriyama, where he roasted that <laughs> Dragon Ball Super again, and called it a casual continuation, aside from forgetting that it even existed, or called the Dragon Ball Super. Also, uh, Saiyan Scholar decided to take advantage of that and make a few memes and make trigger a few people <laughs> after what happened recently to him on Twitter. He decided to <laughs> make fun. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't. I can't get talk straightly. I just have to think about the stuff he wrote and damn, science scholar and comedy already fit perfectly together and he knows how uh, to <laughs> uh, lighten the mood in this awful fan base. so after he pretty much uh, said that he didn't even say that Dragon Ball Super isn't canon because if you think about it Dragon, Ball's, Dragon Ball has no canonity uh, as people believe because yeah, I explained it in a video how canonity, canonity actually works because people call Dragon Ball GT non-canon because it is considered a grand side story by Toriyama and why why do does he say that and as that is simple uh, Dragon Ball GT is a sequel to the adaptation the anime adaptation of the manga it's not a sequel to the source material because the source material has no sequel and Dragon Ball Super is called a casual continuity what is what does casual continuity mean? It's not something serious. So Toriyama doesn't take Dragon Ball Super serious. Not in the sense it, uh, he, he makes it uh, fun or something. Like uh, more so that you can't take Dragon Ball Super out and nothing of value is lost because Dragon Ball Super doesn't really feel fill any holes or answer any unanswered question is a completely it's pretty much filler he doesn't it doesn't change anything in the main story the characters will be the same as they are at the end of the manga Goku will train U because he remembers his fight against Kid Buu and he is still excited to fight someone as strong as Buu and it will cause him trouble because Ub is uh, strong as shit. And you, if you count all this god stuff, and so if Goku gets this billion times stronger, how how would Ub even be a threat? Not that it matters, because nothing in Dragon Ball Super has. Uh, the, there are no consequences, and we know how the story will end, because we have known this for three decades. This is that means thirty years. So nothing about super is uh, going to excite us in that sense. It's just m more Dragon Ball. You can read fan fiction and you get the same experience, which is why I refer to Dragon Ball Super as filler, because that's what it is. It's filler to Dragon Ball manga. So. And obviously filler doesn't mean it's non-canon because like I said there is no canon in Dragon Ball. Filler is 
something to fill in and not affect the main story that is filler filler can exist inside the manga too it's not something uh, that just exists in anime or materials that adapt a certain story if we, I take an example of uh, Dragon Ball's manga which is a filler uh, think about um, Monster Carrot the chapter with Monster Carrot you can take it out nothing of value is lost so some characters may get fleshed out and we get some interesting interactions but in the whole thing it didn't matter but th that doesn't mean that uh, Monster Carrot is non-canon because he, he takes place in the source material he get it? so I think I rambled a bit too much let's go back to what actually happens so these fa- that there's these fanboys it's not just one they are obviously upset that Saiyan Scholar highlights <laughs> that so much and they try to make him feel bad by saying Dragon Ball GT will never be canon no matter what and yeah that's uh, that's the uh, kind of mindset because Dragon Ball Super fanboys in order to make someone feel bad they will always use GT especially if you like GT they will always use GT uh, as a means to cope about the issues and things about Dragon Ball Super and they do that also with obviously with Dragon Ball Z when you say it's uh, Dragon Ball Super is bad they will say Dragon Ball Z wasn't perfect like yeah obviously but Dragon Ball Super has <laughs> hardly any positives <laughs> it's filler says what says what the guys who said to me he didn't explain why that Dragon Ball Super has more tension than Dragon Ball Z <laughs> Dragon Ball Z <laughs> Dragon Ball Super has more attention than Dragon Ball Z <laughs> just just this is comedy gold guys this is comedy gold the next thing is you, someone is going to tell you that the fights in Dragon Ball Super are better choreographed and have more martial arts based fights than Dragon Ball the original <laughs> Goku vs. Galifna better than Tiek vs. Goku what the fuck <laughs> I have to cut this off. <laughs> so, I, okay. So, what was what is next? Is okay. We have those who cope using Dragon Ball GT. You have these who cope and use to cope with Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball. So, apparently, Dragon Ball Super is the best anime of all time. Uh, last time I checked, Dragon Ball Super has all the issues of all three Dragon Ball series magnified and none of the positives Dragon Ball Super has no positives you have to dig really really hard to find a smidgen of positive and I can't think of from the top of my head right now a, a single positive but if you f go to a Dragon Ball GT hater and ask him is there anything you like about Dragon Ball GT? They will tell you the following. 1. Super Saiyan 4 2. Baby Saga or Baby You will sometimes hear it has good concepts but good concepts not executed well is one you will certainly hear sometimes. You may hear Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta or the certain Shadow Dragons, the top 3 Shadow Dragons 
But if you ask someone like me, um, what was great about Dragon Ball Super, I can't answer you that. I can answer that question. And honestly, if I were to say, for example, Sky Open Blue were good, right? Its reveal was good, uh, that was positive. But then what happens later kinda ruins uh, Kayu and Blue because it was special for the moment it was used but later it got spammed so much and kinda ch negatively affected how uh, Kayu was because Kayu is a really intense technique every time back in Dragon Ball Z when you saw Kayu you knew shit was real if you watch Dragon Ball Super and see Kaioken, you feel nothing. Oh, that, uh, there was one time in Dragon Ball Z where that uh, Kaioken also felt like an afterthought that was when Goku used it against Pycon. Goku vs. Pycon was the shit. And Super Kaioken is the most forgettable scene in that, um, in these, in the fight. Which is kinda disappointing and says a lot about. Um, the you that how pitiful Kaioken was used by the writers, uh, by the screenwriters more so. So it wasn't even a cool scene, but it didn't ruin the fight, obviously. And um, what else? If you say uh, Vegeta Blue fusion, always a highlight. Sadly, no. They made Vegito look weaker than Sup Goku and Trunks in the same episode, <laughs> and they ruined the Potara. Like, from what we knew, Potara is permanent fusion, and thus they ruined, uh, if they ruined the uh, what it meant for Goku and Vegeta to lose a uh, few specs then, especially now when F Vegeta, even with a time limit, it got in its retcon. He still doesn't want to fuse with Goku, knowing that this guy, if they don't fuse, they are fucked. Which isn't true because Goku has the center button, which he could have used at any point, so all everything we have witnessed was a waste of time. So, yeah, this is, this is the things I mean. What, what next? Um... So there's, you know, probably some of you know uh, Battle Memes by Omari. As he recently started to actually post some Battle Memes on his channel in the community tab. A GT Goku vs. Uh, Broly. Like, you don't have to like Omari or how he... I don't even agree honestly with the fight he does but it's entertaining to look at it's entertaining to look at how he paces it and what scenes he look um, makes it's a really entertaining fight where it seems like the fighters are pretty much uh, about evenly match uh, both push each other to the next stage to the mightiest stage so the last image he showed is uh, Goku is now turned Super Saiyan 4. So there is this guy. Who, uh, so the comments are really upset. Uh, a bunch of Dragon Ball Super fanboys that are upset with uh, the decisions he makes. Like there is this guy called Song Goku with a uh, Super Saiyan Blue uh, avatar and it asks, explain to me how Super Saiyan 4 beats Broly. The fight isn't even over yet. Uh, they, he just transformed. I don't. That's what I mean, right? Then you have legendary Super Saiyan Blue, also a Goku Super Saiyan Blue avatar. He, he make uh, he. Oh, should I really read this? Okay, I will read it to you. GT Goku, it's over. I'm the strong. I'm in my strongest form. Super Broly, why don't you give up, fool? 
which is ironic because if Broly is right now in transformed and when he is transformed he only says Rah! he can't talk he's just a mindless monster GT Goku I will never give up I, until I save the earth from you Super Broly I don't want to hurt you nor destroy this planet but why do you think I'm a threat GT Goku enough now die it's really a fantastic Let, let's continue I'm sorry and Super Broly, stupid. Broly uses a powerful energy that injures Goku very badly. GT Goki, a what? How? Super Broly, you are too weak against me. I advise you get stronger, and the next time comes, I will be ready for our rematch. GT Goku, I was wrong. Sorry for thinking that you were up to destroy this planet, but next time I met, we will defeat you. I will defeat him. Super Broly, we can count on it. <laughs> it's just, this is hilarious. So, what, do we have anything here? Uh, you have your average uh, Ultra Instinct Goku avatar who, guy who says why is he in his strongest form? <sighs> Someone who doesn't have a Dragon Ball Super Avatar. The director of Dragon Ball Super Super Heroes confirmed more Dragon Ball is on the way. Oh, there's, a, there's nothing uh, related to it, but obviously you get what I mean. Uh, yes, it's true. Dragon Ball Super will get more stuff apparently, and if we get a new series, I think the. Dragon Super Fanboy virus will spread through the internet again. And what does it mean, right? This is this is probably the only thing people who don't uh, don't like Dragon Ball Super can take some fun of because the fanboys are just uh the mentality is on a completely different level. And they think like some kind of subhuman or something. I mean, fine, you can like what you like, you can have the opinion you have, but if if you say one plus one equals banana, that's that's not true. That's just false. <laughs> that's, that's not even an opinion. This is a false opinion. People can have false opinions, they can have bad takes as this guy on Twitter who makes bad Dragon Ball takes and apparently counts my takes bad without even knowing the reasons I say what I say but they are really seriously bad takes like how how is how does Dragon Ball Super have more tension than Dragon Ball Z if you can explain that, uh, I are you really welcome and tell me how uh, how there's more tension in Dragon Ball Super when there's the Zeno button, the God Ritual, the Portal, the Fusion Dance, uh, and angels that can reverse time, and um, four sets of Dragon Balls, a guy who knows everything you can just ask, and you get the answer. You can up. Obviously, apparently you can just wish from the Dragon Balls your potential to be unlocked. What a waste of time to get to the old Kaio to let your potential to be <laughs> unlocked. That was a complete waste of time. Well, I think uh, that pretty much does it. Uh, obviously, yes, uh, there are flaws in other Dragon Ball 2. Sometimes the characters don't see the obvious, like in the um, an example from the Boo Saga, I think the Boo Saga is the worst uh, arc in original Dragon Ball, which is why Z is better than um, Kai, because it has better, two better sagas than the Boo Saga. And that is the Mafuba exist. We are talking about an antagonist. Boo? Who? Oh, obviously, he was sealed in some kind of egg or something and he is a demon what a surprise would be nice if there was a 
sealing techniques that seals freaking demons. And that's where Zoma Fuba comes in. But nobody remembers because Toriyama forgot about it. And the characters, obviously, somebody has to remember. There are so many hints and things that should remind people about the Mafuba. There were like two people that know the Mafuba actually know how to use it uh, in the out uh, in the lookout a uh, Roshi and a uh, Piccolo obviously Roshi might not be able to use it it would be nice if they at least attempted it um, but we didn't even get that so here if Dragon Ball Super Fanboys I criticize Dragon Ball Z but if you really want to hear my criticism to any arc you should look at my Dragon Ball tier lists where I roast I don't roast the shit out of Dragon Ball Super because there are enough roasts <laughs> across my other videos so it's pretty much I pretty much spared Dragon Ball Super in these tier rankings so maybe you get some uh, uh, can enjoy how I roast GT, Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. So I think uh, that's enough. Did I forget anything? Oh yeah, there's this guy who apparently... You have these average Dragon Ball Super fanboys who always want to debate if you say something they don't agree with. And what... The and there's something I want to mention about debating on the internet. Normally debates exist so you and the person you are debating with reach a middle ground. Right? It's it's never you nobody gets one hundred percent was what they want. Maybe you get sixty as the other forty. It's looking for a compromise. Uh, people try to compromise in a debate. In an internet debate, you want an audience. So, what does it mean? It doesn't mean it means that you don't try to convince your opposition. You try to convince the people listening and get the majority to agree with you. But if you make a debate on a discord call that will never end until the other side is tired and what what does it mean what does it come down to so your Dragon Ball Super fanboys will do the following if you stop replying because they live from your attention they will declare themselves as a winner and that's that's how they debate. So I suggest any one of you, unless you you aren't looking to win a debate up against a Dragon Ball Super fanboy and just want to l see how they embarrass themselves and like to see their stupidity for yourself, then accept uh, the debate, which is it's really fun to do uh, but it can cost you some brain cells because uh, stupid people like these they will drag you down on their level and beat you in quotation marks so your brain will be fried so consume stupidity fanboy stupidity, <laughs> stupidity at your own risk that is my advice. It's entertaining, but it's one hell of a drug, and yeah, obviously, look out for your health and these kinds of things. Don't get mad, just enjoy the show as you reply. The problem is, ne never take a Dragon Ball Super Fanboy series. If you take them serious, you you will uh, you will. How should I explain? Explain it. 
you will lose faith in humanity. Let's say that. Because it always takes them as some kind of troll. Like, they are acting stupid. And so you... Uh, kind of save yourself some brain cells. I think with this we pretty much covered everything. I hope I didn't repeat unnecessary information. I probably did because uh, this is not scripted. I don't like scripting these kinds of things. So, yeah. Uh, have fun. And goodbye.